Okay, go. Okay. Um, my company that I chose is Philip Morrison International. Um, it's a very successful business, a multi-billion dollar business. Um, but before I tell you what they do, I want to open up with a story um, about biker dudes. Um, a guy across the street, whenever I was growing up, he was a biker dude, I would say. And he's a very tough guy. Um, he drove a motorcycle. He was always working in his garage. And from a very young age, I would go over to his garage and I would just watch him work. Um, but all, um, whenever he was working in his garage, he always had a cigarette in his mouth. And so from a very young age, I thought cigarettes were very cool. Um, just because he's a very tough guy, very manly man. Um, all that to... All that to say that cigarettes are cool and people buy them. People buy cigarettes. It's a, a multi-billion dollar um, industry, um, the tobacco industry, um, and it's growing. Um, so my company is a cigarette company. They have multiple brands of uh, cigarettes. Um, very successful, like I said. A little bit of history about it. Um, it was started by a man named Philip Morris. Um, he opened up a tobacco shop in London in the year of 1947. Um, he worked there until the day he died. After his death, his wife and his brother took over the company, um, or the business, later turned it into a company um, a few years down the road, 1981. Um, and it was opened up to the public. Um, very successful business. Um, uh, later down the line, early 1900s, they had their first deal um, with importing cigarettes into the US um, in New York. And just a very successful business since then. Um, nowadays, they um, they have, like I said, multiple brands of cigarettes. Um, and for example, a few of them are um, L and M cigarettes. If you go to any 7-Eleven, you'll see multiple types of L and M cigarettes behind the counter. Um, Bold Street or Bond Street um, is a big cigarette company in Europe. Um, not so much around here, but in Europe, they're very big there. Parliaments. Um, that's a cigarette that I read about. Um, Females usually buy parliaments. That's a cigarette that they, I guess, interested in. And then their biggest brand is Marlboro. Um, you guys have all seen Marlboro, heard about. They have a slogan, Cowboy Killers. Um, this is like the most successful brand um, of cigarettes around today. Um, financial stability. This is a chart um, of the stock prices the last four years. You can see it wasn't so good. But the last couple of years, it's been pretty stable, pretty um, just staying the same right now. Um, they don't really, the future with the tobacco industry is very uncertain right now because of electronic cigarettes. Um, they're very big and booming right now, and all tobacco industries do not know um, what the future can hold with that. So it's worrisome. The work environment, training is usually a one-on-one -on -one experience, you and someone else um, with this company. Um, it's a very fast-paced environment because Philip Morris does um, business all, um, he does business with over 100 companies. Um, within their company, they speak, there's people that speak, um, there's like 80 different languages within the company, so it's a very busy, fast-paced um, business. Um, and it's constantly evolving because of how busy it is. Um, work um, opportunities within the workplace. Um, Long-term and short-term um, benefits. Um, with their employees. They also um, will work um, with an employee individually. Um, if there's a need that needs to be met, they will do their best to meet that. Um, they also felt more sort of believed in hard work, like deserves a reward. So that's a big thing that they're about. Um, and to, to, to uh, wrap this all up, I just want to finish by saying Philip Morris is a, is a strong company and it's, it grew really quickly and it continues to grow and they also just very much care for their employees. Thank you.